A French doctor revealed on uh, French TV that he has found that among his previous patients there was one case which tested positive for COVID-19 and that dates all the way back to the 27th of December. Et donc on a repris tous ces tests qui étaient négatifs, c'est des patients qui avaient des pneumonies et sur les 24 patients, nous avons eu un qui était positif au COVID-19 le 27 décembre quand il était hospitalisé chez nous à Jean Verdé. Remember I uh, talked to, I interviewed the Chinese doctor who was the first to sound the alarm about COVID-19. She discovered the first cases of COVID-19 in Wuhan on the same day, 27th of December. So that opens up a lot of question. How come? Uh, what happened before that case? It is known that that case had no travel history to China. So it was a local case. Where did that person contract COVID-19? And this was not the, the only piece of story that was capturing international headlines. Actually, another story released at the end of April also went pretty much unnoticed by the mainstream US media, but picked up by the media here in China. And that has to do with a mayor of a smaller city in New Jersey by the name of Michael Melham. He basically told the local press that he was sick last November and uh, he had very similar symptoms to people who were suffering from COVID-19, but he didn't know uh, what the disease was because he never got tested. And only a couple of days earlier when he went to the doctor for an antibody test, did he found out that he already has the antibody. I'm living, breathing proof that we were all dealing with it months earlier. Others have also told me they were really sick in November and December. We just didn't know from what. So there is the bigger question. Did he really contract COVID-19? If it was really the case, how did he get it? Where did he get it? Exactly how far back, how early was the virus starting to spread in the United States among the local communities? The presenter on CNN, Chris Cuomo, he said on TV himself. The kids, now anecdotally, Christina believes that at least two of them have had it in the last few months. Why? Well, we don't know, but atypically long duration sinus fever lethargy. Um, I think we're going to learn that coronavirus has been in this country since like October. Remember, he was not talking about someone he didn't know. He was talking about his wife who was recalling the symptoms that their own children exhibited. So there are a lot of questions, a lot of questions that needs to be answered. And yet it is kind of weird because when you hear these kind of stories reported on US TV, it's always almost always reported in the matter of fact manner. And people will always say, yeah, so we just don't know uh, since when it came from China to the United States. But how do you know that it came from China in the first place anyway? Is there any evidence that no matter how early it came from China? This is, this, this is a big question people need to ask, that scientists need to answer, that doctors need to go and find out and ask. But at this moment, uh, first of all, people always assume that this came from China. And secondly, when there are people who come out to say that they believe they might have contracted COVID-19, there are voices that, that are trying to um, suppress this kind of claim. For instance, this New Jersey website, while reporting on the statement by that mayor, on the title it says, the mayor makes unfounded claim that he had COVID-19 last November. How do you know? that it's unfounded. He was talking about his own physical condition and he has a test of antibody which turns out to be positive. So why is this so unfounded? You can say he makes a claim, whether it is founded or not, let the readers judge. But by putting this kind of title, clearly it's trying to plant the seed in the minds of the readers that what the mayor was telling is something false, that he was just imagining. And then related to this report, there is an opinion piece which asks people to stop saying that they believe they contracted uh, coronavirus. Why should people stop saying that? If people were really sick last year, if they really believed that they had COVID-19 and if they even tested positive for COVID-19 antibody, why should they stop saying that they believed that they thought so? Is there some kind of a, a effort out there 
trying to suppress these kind of voices, trying to uh, not to have these kind of discussions, that the US has a lot of questions to answer about COVID-19. I think we need to be very careful because at this moment, uh, we, we need to go all the way to the bottom of the truth. And if we're misled by people who don't want us to know the exact truth, then we might never find out.